details tonight about how a woman at an assisted living home died. A man who worked at the center in Mint Hill is accused of sexually assaulting her. And all new tonight at 5, Eyewitness News anchor Allison Lattice explains an autopsy report just released shows that her death might have been an accident. Allison. Erica, just in the last two hours, we comb through the autopsy report to find out how Doris Starnes died. According to the medical examiner, she died after complications from blunt force injury in May. William Shaw Jr. is charged with sexually assaulting the 86-year-old at the Lawyers Glen Retirement Center where he was working. She was admitted to the hospital following that incident and died a few days later. An autopsy report shows Starnes' blunt force injuries may not have been intentional. The autopsy report goes on to say, given the circumstances, the possibility of her injury being accidental cannot be excluded. Channel 9 talked to the family's attorney who says this is a start in giving them answers. And more or less now it's to the point where, hey, we've got a lot of evidence in, now let's start making some decisions. Yeah. So I think in the next two to, you know, in the next weeks to come or in the next month or so, we're going to start really seeing where this case is going to go. The autopsy report will now go to the district attorney's office for review. The DA will then decide whether Starn's death should be considered a homicide.